and my name's Emma. Today we are talking about physical freedom. When it comes to choices and decisions, the ones we make with more intention every single day will create the world that we want to live in. That's what we talk about here on this channel. How can we take our power back every single time we make a choice by creating one with more intention? Physical freedom. Up until now, we've talked about emotional freedom, spiritual freedom, mental freedom. Now, physical freedom. It is very connected to the other ones. And just like everything else is connected on this earth, we need to be aware of the things that we are doing every single day that is affecting us in a physical manner. When we get stressed, when we feel angry, when we get emotional, there is a physical response to all of it. The food that we eat creates a physical response. The amount of movement that we go through a day creates a physical response, both positively and negatively, depending on what action you are doing. So physical freedom to me is really embracing what we are doing every day and understanding the effects that it has on us and not being torn apart by, oh, well, I've done this, like my life is like this now. No, it's to continue to let go of the past, which is what we've talked about so far, but to also embrace that this physical form that you have is the only one that you get. That is your permanent home for the rest of your life. And the actions that you take every single day will affect you for the long run. And we do know that we are feeling the effects of all the decisions we've made up until now. So the decisions that we are going to make now will affect us in the future, as well as right now in this moment. And for me, physical freedom also has a lot to do with understanding who you are as a physical being. I have, over the past four years, gained a lot of weight, lost a lot of weight, fluctuated in weight. And to me, the way my physical body was manifesting all of the different things that I was going through was showing me where I had a lot of difficulties and problems in my life. So my relationship with food was off. And, you know, when you are off in one area, it usually correlates to a lot of other problems that you're going through in your life. I didn't have a good relationship with food. I worked too much. I was always stressed. I was always worried. I was always not worrying enough about myself. And if I was to give myself the space to, you know, do the exercises that I love, I love doing ballet. And if I... The moments where I gave myself the freedom to do that, where I gave myself, all right, you know, we have a busy day, but for this hour, we're going to go to the gym or just do some ballet exercises. We're gonna walk around and really be present in that moment. And I'm going to eat some fruit or I'm going to eat a healthier breakfast or just eat breakfast in general. Or, you know, I would listen to when my body wanted to eat and what it wanted to eat. And to listen to those cues, I was in a much better state. So in this past year, in 2020, I had, again, dropped a lot of weight. I was going through a lot of changes in my life, had people coming in and out of my life. I had things shift. I went through graduating college to starting my working career. So there was a lot of changes in my life and there was a lot of physical changes as well that correlated with all of this. And for me, when I started to let go of the situations that were no longer serving me, I started to do that in a lot of different areas. I started to go to sleep more. I started to read more. I started to work out more. I started to be more present and to let go of the past that kept haunting me all the time. And, you know, the loss of no longer going to school, the way that the world has changed in the past year and so many different things. I realized that my relationship with almost every single thing in my life and person was unstable. It wasn't in a good place for me or that other person. And to me, a lot of those issues manifested physically. And when I started to really take the time and give myself the space and the freedom to say, you know what, this is working for me, this is not, I have to make these decisions so that I can feel at a better place in my life because I was no longer able to mentally handle everything. And then it recreated itself into a physical aspect so if you feel like there are things that are happening in your life you have no control over we need to take back control in every single way that we can and if we have to go to work at a certain time 
Well, we get to choose when we wake up, when we, you know, what we eat for breakfast. If we have to take a lunch break at a certain time, we get to choose how that lunch break goes. We get to, you know, for assigned projects, we get to choose what order we want to do them. To some extent, we get to choose how we learn about them. We get to choose things all the time. And you will give yourself back this power over your own life if you really sit down and figure out where do I get to make choices where do things happen that I don't have control over? Where do I have control over things in my life? And to look at those lists and realize that there's a lot we do have control over. And there's a lot less that we don't have control over. You know, life happens, things happen, people come in and out of your life, you move places, you, you change jobs, you end up in situations you didn't think you would ever be. And the thing is, life keeps going, you have to keep moving forward. And if we keep being trapped by our past, which is what was happening to me, and you know, it kept physically showing up in my life. I would, I changed um, in weight size for about four years. I had dropped 15, 20 pounds when I graduated high school down to, um, so I'm 5'7", and I dropped down to 140. Uh, I was 160 for most of high school and then I dropped down to 140 and then over the next year I had gained a lot of that weight back and was up to like 170, 180 and then even pushed up to 190 and then now since I've been taking great care of what am I eating, how am I moving my body and none of it, none of it happened because I was like I want to lose weight. None of it happened because I wanted to gain weight. It, there was never a point in time where I was like, I am going to make this decision to lose weight or to gain weight. It fluctuated based off of my mental health uh, a great deal, which is, which wasn't okay. I, I shouldn't have been so physically affected by it, but that is just the truth of what happens. There's a physical manifestation of the burdens that you carry with you. And if you we aren't able to deal with the things that happen in life in a healthy manner. Our body is going to face the consequences of us not being able to deal with the emotions and the situations and the problems that come up. The, our body is going to feel the full force of us not being able to deal with it in the correct manner. I had changed so much um, from what I did to a day-to-day, -to, -day, to who I talked to on a day-to-day, -to, -day, to what I thought on a day-to-day -day basis, how I moved through the world. And at this point, I feel like I'm in a much better place. There's, of course, more work to be done, but what I choose to do every day now is to get really present with myself in as much and as often as I can. And it starts off with the little things. The little things create those big things that we always talk about. We want to change the world, but it starts with making little changes every single day that become habits that become who we are at the end of the day. It all can be done. And if everything is a habit, then becoming really successful is not something that happens by chance. It is something that happens with great intention and great persistence. And, you know, I had been doing this not paying attention to my body not paying attention to what it needed for years and then it turned i had to turn it around so now that i'm having to make the decision all right when the alarm goes off i'm going to get up i'm going to well what the first thing i do is i read some of my book and then i go and i get take a shower change my clothes and then i like i work out and then i write a gratitude list so a lot of these stuff a lot of this stuff i'm going to be talking about um in March for Manifestation March of the different ways we can change our life. But with the goal of these Freedom Fridays is to give you this little intro to that and to say our choices and decisions every single day create us day by day. And the choices that we used to make will affect us for the long term if we do not get honest with ourselves about what happened, why it happened, where it brought us and where it can take us next. And I dealt with a lot of health problems because I wasn't able to deal with the stress in my life and the situations I was in and constantly worrying and, and being stressed and overthinking and not being able to cope with life in, in a healthy manner, in healthy ways. And physical freedom is letting go of these expectations that other people have put on you and that you've put on yourself and to say, 
you know what, if today I need a break from all this, if today I need to just watch a movie and do nothing, then I need to do that. But if I'm consistently doing that, is there something bigger at play? Why do I constantly need to have days where I'm just not doing anything? What is going on in my life that is stressing me out to this extent that I can't move for a whole day and I just need to sit and lay in bed? Like... We need to be fitting in every day a moment to relax so that we don't feel overburdened and burnt out by the end because that physical manifestation of chaos on your body is not something that we want to continue. And the stress that we live in under right now is going to affect us for a long time if we don't really get it under control. And it's something that is going to take a while. It took me quite a long time and it is going to continue to take time that is the most important work that we will ever do it is our life's work to really get to know ourselves and our minds and our bodies and to give ourselves the ability to be free in all of those regards so that we can become that greatest version of ourselves so if you feel like you are stressed by life if things are happening too much if you don't know where to go if you feel like your body's not in the place where you want it to be, or you're constantly under this duress, take a moment, figure out where you have control over your life, what events have happened that have made you feel certain ways, learn the lessons and then let the past go. I know that a lot of us get hung up on the people that we used to know, the people that we used to be, the situations that we used to have in our life and get stuck into, well, what if this or what if that? And the truth is there is no other timeline that is happening except the one that you're in right now. And that can be a scary thought or it can be an empowering one to just to say, hey, my next step gets to change the course of my life. So even if you're like, what is getting up um, 20 minutes earlier going to do for me? It could be a really big difference for you. And we need to stop minimizing every effort that we do and and stop also maximizing that the best was already happening, that we've already lived our best day. No, the best is yet to come. It always will be the best to come if we choose to move through life appreciative of every moment that we have and with the understanding that it does get better if we put in the work and the little steps that we take and the little changes that we do will really create the world that we want to live in, the life that we want to have, and the person that we want to be. So the choice is yours. It always has been. Hope you got something out of today's video. I will see you soon. But until then, I hope you have an amazing day.